Hey there, what's happening? Check this out. I have for you today one of the absolute coolest buses you will ever see. It's one of those toys that you're gonna look at yourself and say, where the hell did that thing come from? Or I didn't even know it existed. I tell you, I didn't know it existed. And uh, when I was offered this, I jumped all over it. And this, my friends, is the Captain Ultra Bus by Yonezawa. And the lithography in this thing is crazy. It's absolutely crazy insane. You know, for such a cheesy uh, one season run show, the toys that it spawned are really unbelievable. And what's nice too is that it's a low lying friction toy. I don't have to chase it around, but just let me show you the, the box and some of the cool things here. So if you know Captain uh, Ultra, and obviously this is a Japanese market toy, there's your logo. Uh, you know that he had his uh, robot sidekick, uh, Huck, I believe they call them, Huck. And Billiken made Huck robots. There are some Hucks in uh, some vintage toys I've seen, like vehicles. I don't know if they made a standalone vintage Huck. Maybe some of you character toys, character toy experts or aficionados can tell me. And this is one of the absolute funniest monsters alien foes i think he was called the bandle if i'm not mistaken but i'm not even positive and he is just kind of like iconic the design he looks kind of like a crushed headed uh, you know salad <laughs> Something strange like that and here's the bus there and you can see you have another member of the team one of the i think the lone female of the team this is the other, the other panel is basically the same. Bright colors though. I mean, you gotta give it up for this monster. I mean, if you, you see this head here, looks like a, kind of like a watermelon was split open. It's just so bizarre. They, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're kaijus who are very inventive. Of course, here's this, the end panel. So that's your cool box. And again, just, I mean, it's, I, I, I'm at a loss for words. It's so creative and inventive. But anyway, you get to the bus, right? And it's rare that you could say that the toy, some you know, exceeds the box. But in this case, I think this toy clearly exceeds the box. I mean, let's start with the front lithography. So you have Huck and Captain Ultra. They're recessed behind that wind, windshield. So it gives it a three-dimensional look, and there is actually gauges on there. They went to the trouble of putting some uh, some dials and stuff on the dashboard, which is like a very great attention to uh, detail. And if you look at here, you have, let's see, that's Huck over there, the robot. But then what's funny is you have the, uh, the Bando, or Vandal or Bando. So like, why would he be riding in the bus? And then of course you have, a nice robot hook here, some of the characters, right? I mean, this is like that uh, space bus, and you have more lithography there. It's just all over the place. Ten hubcaps. And this is your friction, friction guards in the back wheel. Now, let me go to the other side, and over here you have... Tell me this does not look like Jar Jar Binks. I mean, I'm telling you that Lucas must have cribbed so many characters and ideas from a lot of these other uh, previously invented uh, entertainment uh, vehicles. So again, you have your alien here, and then you have your, uh, this, this is just so funny to me, but the level of detail and the lithography is insane. And I absolutely love this alien. And over here you have, I don't know if that's Captain Ultra or like the female. Uh, character, but look, they on both sides they put different characters. And you go to the back, you have the Yonazawa logo and the license plate, and then up here it just, just doesn't stop. You have the character sticker that these are famous for. I have to do it sideways, but look at the lithography here. This is why I'm telling you, this alien is so iconic looking. I, I may link, I don't know if I did it with my other Captain Ultra, but I'll, I'll link like the first episode. It's, I mean, you see these monsters you know these people in these costumes and they're just 
it, it, it's so cheesy and campy that you can't help but absolutely love it. And as far as the buzz, the friction works good. And that's all it is with friction. You just push, push, push. And then it comes in for the shock. And you can go both directions. Anyway, that's, uh, you know, I'm, I don't normally do this, but I will end it with the with the uh, bus on there. I, I'll keep it on there briefly just so you can enjoy both of these, this great box and this uh, toy together. And anyway, that is your Captain Ultra bus. Uh, probably not one example on YouTube or uh, even on the internet. If you've seen this before, let me know. And uh, again, if you like this kind of stuff, these kinds of in unbelievably rare items. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and leave a remark because I'm telling you, these are the coolest toys on the internet, bar none. You can't find this anywhere. Most collectors will never let you see this stuff. I don't know why. I like to share it, but you know, some people feel, feel differently about it. So as always, thank you for your time. I appreciate you looking. And um, with that, I'll talk to you later.